Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dobbins Gaming. This is Kaylee, and I'm going to be playing a game called Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Uh, this should pop up on the title screen in a minute. Just a uh, little background for the game. It was published by Square Enix. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm just stupid. But, um... It's a PlayStation 2 game that I really enjoyed. It was my first RPG game, so I thought I'd go ahead and um, play it because I never finished it, and I don't exactly remember the storyline, so it should be good. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to do something that I haven't seen a million uh, Let's Plays about. So, let's go ahead and get started. Create a new adventure log. Now, I have tried to do this before, and things went wrong, and... Um, I ended up having to delete it and retry, uh, but I'm gonna try and treat this first area like I, Bargle Snur, yeah, Bargle Snur, that'll work, uh, like I haven't done it before. Yes, I'd like to save that, thank you. That'll work. I have to be very careful and remember to sit closer to the mic this time because uh, I didn't on the last one and that was part of the reason that I had to delete it because you couldn't pick up all of my audio. Which was frustrating, but hey, when you start a YouTube channel like this and you start actually recording, there there's gonna be mistakes, so. But it's fine, I'll keep that in mind and we'll go ahead and get started. A scepter spoken of in lore, and sealed away since days of yore, unleashes its forbidden power. And heralds Trodane's darkest hour. These vines remind me of Sleeping Beauty. Sorry. I'm a bit of a Disney nerd. Give me. Your quest has begun. There's a lot of things that you'll notice about me when I'm doing streams and said I'm going to reference some stuff. I love Disney. I love Doctor Who. I love a whole bunch of stuff. And you're just, yeah, you're just going to have to put up with my references and me thinking that I'm funny slash smart. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh, um, every once in a while my sister Taylor's gonna be joining me here, um, she, uh, is currently doing homework right now, otherwise she would get this started, but because she's not gonna have as much time as I, uh, do to, to focus on this channel, we thought it best that, um, I go ahead and get it started. Oi, Gav! It's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. I really hope that the microphone is not picking up the game audio. Let me see. Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. It should be fine. Shake a leg, Gav! Yes, sir, Mr. Yangus. Um, okay, the controls... Action button. I've never heard the X button referred to as action button before, but whatever. I'm gonna pick up these barrels. I don't think there's anything in them. There's not. Um, oh, you may notice that this character looks a little bit like Goku from Dragon Ball. Um, that's because Akira Toriyama did all the character and monster designs for this game. So there are a few characters in there that look like Dragon Ball characters. And uh, I don't really want to get too much into my love of Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball. Because uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse comes out on February 24th, I believe. And I'm definitely going to be doing a Let's Play of that. So we'll get into that obsession later. Alright. I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. 
Not that I can talk, do I? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. Hmm. Who's Codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. What would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognise the ability if it came up and bit you on the ah. Enough dilly-dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Keep track of your daughter, dude. Especially if she's a princess. But I guess she has been transformed like he has, so... Water droplets. Uh oh, here comes trouble, Gaff. Or I guess they're slimes. My bad. I mean, that didn't look like a miss to me, but whatever. <laughs> That was pretty easy first fight, but I think it was just to show you the mechanics of the fighting screen. Party obtains three gold point coins. <laughs> the slime drops a treasure chest. Barglesner opens it up. It contains a medicinal herb. Barglesner obtains the medicinal herb. Okay, I don't need that right now, but thank you. That'll come in handy later. Well, they certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we <laughs> couldn't handle. Uh, excuse me. Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter. Ah, there you are. Thank goodness you're safe, Medea. I just wondered why he got turned into this ugly monster. Aye, aye. The old princess is back. And Medea got turned into this beautiful horse. Maybe I'll say we make a move now before it gets dark. It reflects their inner personality, but I don't think King Trode is evil. I don't know. I'd have to ask Akira Toriyama. Or I guess the creator of the story, they probably decided that he was supposed to look like a monster. Yeah, but I love um, Square Inks. They're one of my favorite uh, publishing slash developing companies. Um, they actually made a game. Yeah, see, Akira Toriyama, character in Monster Design. But um, they made Bravely Default, which is for 3DS, which I really enjoyed. That's another one that I have to beat. I just haven't found the time, you know, with Ocarina of Time and A Link Between Worlds and Majora's Mask. I've been really caught up in other things and all the Pokemon games. Well, but, um,. Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, but I guess, and I didn't know this, that they, they did Final Fantasy as well. And I would love to play Final Fantasy sometime. And if this works out, maybe I'll have the time and the excuse to actually play the Final Fantasy games. I don't know. We'll see. I should probably keep track of the time. Oh, there's the guy that looks like Trunks. Well, trunks with platinum blonde hair. I'm trying to think of anything to say that can kind of fill this silence, but I'm a pretty boring person. And I've kind of run out of things to talk about. Which is awful. My apologies, I'll work on it. Yes! Yes! Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Hold your horses, Granddad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. 
I am not your granddad. And of course, Dool Magus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Sorry, I was taking a drink of my coke. Just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. That's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? Uh, sure. That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. Okay. Trode's gonna wait here, and so's Medea. So, Yangus, you're coming with me. Crikey, I don't know what the old codge is on about sometimes. Sounds to me like we have to find that Rylus geezer, right? So what are we waiting for? Well, I was talking to you. Saving your progress. Just go to a church and confess, and your progress will be recorded in an adventure log. Make sure you remember to save whenever you decide to stop playing. Yes, sir, or madam. Okay. So, the game mechanic's pretty simple. Basic, uh, RPG, turn-based RPG game. You'll never guess what. A horse-drawn wagon just passed by here, and there was a monster on it. No way. Wait a minute, you're the people who came in with it. So, you're, you're with the monster? Wow! I wonder if he's on the track team. Um, these guys, I'm gonna save a little time just so that I can put more storyline into this. These guys are just gonna try and sell me things. Um, I don't think there's anything in this part. There's not, okay. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the church. and Cause I know there's some things in there. Like I said, I've played this before where I tried to and things failed, but I want to put as much gameplay into the actual time that we have um, so that you guys don't get bored with this. I'm going to go ahead and save because, oh my god, if the freaking capture cuts out, it would. But I'm uh, currently capturing on a, um, I'm using an Elgato uh, uh, game capture. And, um, I'm, it's currently plugged into my laptop because I don't have a PC. And, um, but that will be rectified by the end of this week. I should be getting a PC. I have all the, all the parts should be here by the end of the week. And then my friend and I are going to put it together when we go home. Uh, when I go back to Kansas City. And then hopefully things will get better from there. And I'll be able to do some Steam games too. Because it is almost impossible to capture on this laptop. And it's killing me. Okay. Pot lids can be used as shields. So let's go ahead. Oops. And give this to Yangus. I equipped that. Nope, sure didn't. Ah, I forget. Circle is like pressing X in this game. Okay. This is locked, and the stairs lead up to a bell tower with nothing. Okay. Oh yeah, you can't beat an ice cold drink of water after a night on the town. What's that? You're looking for someone? Why don't you go to the pub then? There's nothing the barman don't know about this place. That is excellent advice. Thank you. You should always go to the pub when you're looking for information in the game. Normally I would stop and do all their voices, but I don't really have time. 
Haven't you had enough, Mr. Corderasha, sir? I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune-telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune-telling? Haphazard? Are you a complete fool? Let me tell you something for free. All fortune-telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Well, that's not very good for your trade. Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's why. You're... So what he basically just said was that he predicted this fire that happened in this town that killed Master Rylus. I'm assuming that's who I'm looking for. Uh, that's who it is because that's who I'm looking for and finding him would finish the game at the very beginning. So it only makes sense. And he didn't warn him about it. The Hercule lookalike did not warn him about it. I'm sorry, Mr. Calderacher, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he is gone. Well, he wouldn't be dead if you'd warned him about it. Okay, right. now I gotta talk to you, Kaldorasha. What? What is it? You come show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes, yes. Quick, quick! Everyone come quick! There's a monster in town! A monster? Cool. Just come and see! The whole town's gone crazy! Okay. Um, I'm guessing you're not gonna let me go on the staircase. You want to get down into the courtyard? But it's mayhem down there. There's a monster loose in the town, you know? You could get hurt if you get caught up in it all. You better not go down there. I ha I, I have a sword. I oh, they're all gathered around my horse and carriage. That's not good. I have a sword. I could fight the monster. Duh. Ooh, barrels. Medicinal herb. Ooh, and some gold coins. Nifty. I'm guessing that's where Master Rylus used to live. What the? This ain't good, Gav. Come on! Lively. Yes, sir. Mm, he looked at me. Oh, it's hideous. Get out! Get out, my 
monster, you're not welcome here. Uh, oh. Gosh, poor Trode. Uh, oh, that was right on the. Oh, ah. Gosh, no need to be so rude. See if I ever come back to this town again. Psh. Oh, Mr. Moon, do I need to press a button or something? Yep. Well, that was a fine reception. Don't they realize who I am? <laughs> Wait. Wait, so you're telling me that they just threw rocks at their king? Oh, that's gonna go over well when he turns back to a human. Hmm. Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? Yeah, I did. Um, he's dead. What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dool Magus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it would never be that easy. Come on. But it seems... We'll just have to track Dulmagus down by ourselves. With Rylus gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Wait. Ooh, who's that? Please wait. Oh, she looks a little bit like, um, Bulma. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Trode. I dreamt about you. Oh, a little bit like Videl, too. And the eyes. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. A strange creature? <laughs> Are you referring to me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same. I anyway, uh, you see. Oh, you sorry. I clicked the X button me. too fast. Most peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, mm -hmm. daughter of the great fortune teller Calda Rasha. Well, it makes sense why you look a little bit like Videl then, because your dad looks a lot like uh, Hercule. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you. What was she rabbiting on about? Come round my house, she says. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Every time I see the name Bargelsner, I think I'm gonna chuckle. So, sorry in advance. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. It's kind of like in that Game Grumps episode, or series, where they they named uh, Link Butlet in The Wind Waker. Uh, they kept laughing at it. Oh my god. Sorry, that's kind of what Bargelsner is gonna be for me.
Okay guys, well I'm gonna have to end it there because it's been about 25 minutes and I don't want these to get too long. But we're just getting into the story and I hope I got you through most of the introduction here in this time period. But um, if you guys would go ahead and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing of you. And you could even click that like button, share this video, you know, whatever you want to do. But thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next